Hey guys, it's Dan from World of Mr. Grey, and I thought I'd talk about how the Fortnite craze is not leading to CD to the CD world of video game streaming for children. It's, it's all over Twitter and you know all over the internet right now. The Telegraph has come up with a, a news article saying how the Fortnite craze is drawing children into the CD world of video game streaming, where sex and hate speech are rife. Um. They're a bit off on this one, tiny bit off. The writers of this article, Mike Wright, Mark Malloy, and Luke Mintz, Mintz, um, they seem to think that streaming is all about the hate speech and the CD, CD underworld of streaming <laughs> pornographic material. There has been that on the site. There has been that on other sites, YouTube, uh, I believe Mixer. Twitch, it's, you know, you get that. You also get that on TV, movies, uh, daytime TV as well. You could just go watch any episode of Loose Women. You'll see you know, the kind of stuff they talk about on there. You'll see that kind of thing. I don't know if that's even still going. I don't know. The news, the daily news, the entertainment news, the gossip magazines. The, you go into any news agency right there on the on the middle shelf for any kid to see. Gossip magazines, pornographic magazines, they're higher up, but you can still see them. Um, you know, the, the the likes of magazines like Loaded Nuts, uh, the other ones I can't remember. Those kind of things. So if they're trying to target, as always, video games, video games get to blame for everything these days. Is I, I don't know why. <laughs> I think they're just misinformed. They're talking about Fortnite in particular. I'm not a Fortnite player. It's not my cup of tea, but I, you know, I have, I have nephews, I have nieces who play it, I have friends who play it. You know, I know a lot of people who play it and enjoy it, and they've they've met a, a lot of good friends through that game. Not just that game, but I've met a lot of good friends through online gaming. I know other people who've let, uh, met people through online gaming. You know, my nephews and all that, they've made friends through online gaming. To say that kids uh, being introduced to the CD world of video game streaming, you know, is it's it's a bit off, if you ask me, because, like I said, you get that in mainstream media. You know, d no matter how good a thing is, you get the bad. It's just, it's just the facts of life. You can't help it. But um, their little article, let's, let's go through what exactly what they're trying to say. So, they wrote... For many young players of the hit video game Fortnite, watching it being played is as compelling as playing it themselves. The Battle Royale game, which pitches up to 100 players against each other in all out all out online deathmatch, has spawned a host of professional streamers who can make millions a year broadcasting from their matches. The surge in popularity of the game, especially with teens and children, has seen viewing records on the most popular streaming site, Twitch, smashed in recent recent months months as celebrities such as the rapper Drake and England stars Harry Kane and Deli Ali no idea have streamed their Fortnite games. However, the influx of young Fortnite fans comes as Twitch has struggled with sexualized content appearing on his feeds and in February introduced new guidelines to clamp down on a suggestive behavior. So they've introduced guidelines to stop this stuff anyway. So you know this this article which came out I think it was yesterday. Sorry, was it was it? Yeah yesterday it came out. So you know they they're targeting basically saying it's rife. They've been they've been targeting this stuff from, uh, from February, you know. So to say it's rife now is a uh, is a lie. Yet in the last week, the Telegraph found a number of incidents of sexualized and suggestive content, such as a streamer telling his girlfriend to remove her top while broadcasting, and a female streamer being asked explicit questions by commentators. Commenters, sorry, I should say. Uh, the NSPCC has now raised concerns about the risk of streaming sites such as Twitch posts to children and is calling to the government to legislate to introduce safeguards for minors. Right, I could be wrong. I'm going to check. I'm fairly sure you have to be over 16 <laughs> for Twitch. Um, if, you are, if you're in between the ages of 13 and 18 or between 13 and the age of legal majority in your jurisdiction of residence, you may only use the Twitch services under the supervision of a parent or legal guardian who agrees to be bound by these terms of service. So if you're in between those ages of 13 to 18, basically what they're saying is your parents should be there with you. Um, and you know, the same as in, it's the same as if something comes on TV at past the threshold, uh, they say the threshold I think is 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. 
I've seen some stuff at six o'clock, which is questionable to be honest with you. Like I said, daytime TV. I hate daytime TV, but if you see any daytime TV, you know, especially like I said, those programs like Loose Women, um, other daytime talk shows, the stuff they discuss on there, you know, is especially Loose Women. You know, they they're all about they're all about the sexualization of stuff. You know, the the mainstream media is more to blame than any other platform right now. The mainstream media, especially like I said, daytime TV, uh, the mainstream news, you know, they're probably the biggest platform for sleaze and violence and hate speech. You see it every day on there, like, you know, I'm not saying deliberately, but what I'm saying, they're reporting on it. Daytime TV, kids see this. Kids see it out in, they see it in school, they see it out in the streets. You know, it's, it's there, unfortunately. So, you know, and that's part of life. You know, it's not a nice part of life, but it is part of life. So to target one game, in particular video games, as they always bloody do, is, is, is just misinformation. It's misinformation by mainstream media. And basically trying to get a headline for the clicks, if you ask me. <laughs> that's basically what they're trying to do. You know, uh, platforms like Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, you get the bad. Like I said, the same with any, any media online, any media. So do we ban online? No, of course we don't. But um, it, it helps people. Like I said, people have made lifelong friends, me included, on this kind of platform. Um, it helps, you know, video games uh, such as this and platforms like this, they help people who can't go outside. You know, they maybe they have... A condition that they can't be in like crowded areas or they you know they're just not so not social people not 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 social people but maybe they have trouble finding you know people they can talk to about things you know that st the twitch uh mixer youtube all all the stream platforms actually you know they they've helped people with mel mental disorders you know people with depression who don't want to go outside and you know speak to people they, they can come on twitch they can start chatting get to know people help them with their you know with their disorders i think you know the people like the telegraph and basically all mainstream media now they just target video games just because i don't know maybe they wake up one day and think what what, what can i target but what can i pin on video games today you know because that's like it's video games are the media's punching bag it's like they always have been and who knows? Will it will it turn around? I I don't know. But um, I think they're completely missing the point. Of you know, you look in any of the tabloid papers these days, and it's all bloody boobs. It's all you know, uh, naked men, naked women. It's it's all kinds of sleazy. You got to the bloody um, uh, what they call now in the back pages of. Some tabloids, I can't remember what they bloody called, like the Ask Miriam things, <laughs> the stuff they discuss in that. You know, it's, if a kid can find sleaze or hate speech or hate to anything, anywhere he wants. You know, to target one specific platform is, um, is narrow-minded, if you ask me. You know, it, it just comes down to the same thing over and over again when it comes to video games. That's the mainstream media and all those, you know, the government, what have you. They concentrate on the bad. They never look at the good. Never look at the good. This, you know, these kind of platforms, Zoom, video games, and Twitch, Mixer, YouTube. You know, they never look at the good stuff. They just focus on the bad, and that's it. Now, as always, it's mis misinformation, false information from the mainstream media about the stuff they they quite clearly don't understand. And uh, which brings me to the addiction. <laughs> the uh, what they say, twenty hours a week uh, gaming is uh, leading kids to be addicted to video games. I mean, are you kidding me? Twenty hours is nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. And you know, once again, they they're completely missing the point. And I've seen a few people comment this. You know, whereas you can binge Netflix, you can binge. Daytime TV, you can binge bloody um, Sky Movies and cable, you know, all movie platforms, TV platforms. Nobody says you've got an addiction to that. But when it comes to video games, where you're actually using your mind 
coordinating your 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 digits that no you're addicted and it's it's bad for you you know like i i've known people uh who who they watch eastenders coronation street uh and the other soaps that are you know love island crap daytime tv reality tv i hate reality tv they'll watch that day in day out are they addicted do they say do people say you got a problem no they don't when it comes to video games you got a problem when it comes to video games and that's the term we have always had since since i well when i was a kid i constantly played video games i still went out i still go out as i go out now but he, you know i i, I do uh, physical activities i still do it but I, st I still love video games i'm in my 30s Are you kidding me i love them it's is again it comes down to just they they the video games the media's punch bag and that's it it's it's ridiculous i'm getting angry now thinking of it <laughs> it's like when when is this gonna end when is it when is the targeting video game uh, the video game industry when is that going to end because like i said you look at tv movies news outlets it's all about sleaze um not all of it but i'm just saying you can find sleaze hate you know all kinds of bloody horror in the news outlets you see that day in day out and as far as addictive um addictiveness of the platform like I said, Netflix, you can binge at. I have binged it for like 10 hours straight. Am I addicted? No, I'm not. No. Uh, I know people who have been, like I said, binge daytime TV, day in, day out. Reality TV, day in, day out. They'll sit there and watch someone sleep in for six hours to see if if they move. Come on. Nobody says they're addicted. It's ridiculous. And I think it needs to stop, basically. Or, or find another bloody platform. Find something else to focus on. Stop focusing on video games because you, you're completely missing the point. People have made lifelong friends. It's helped, it's helped them with conditions, disorders. Move on. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. You know, it's, I, I, I'm starting to ramble a bit now, so I'm starting to get annoyed. <laughs> anyway, that's all I want to say. And that's it, really. Bye for now.